Welcome back to Shell Sugar Rush. Today, to get us in the spirit of Halloween, we're going to be making a Jack Skellington pumpkin cake. So let's get started. Okay, so for the cake, I've actually baked uh, my favorite triple chocolate uh, cake recipe. And I've done two bunt layers, one for the bottom and one for the top, and two eight inch pan layers just for the center layers. We're gonna have four layers on this cake. So we are going to actually fill them with chocolate ganache and cover it with chocolate ganache. So let's get our ganache ready. So for the chocolate ganache filling, we are going to use 12 ounces of milk chocolate chips and one cup of heavy cream. Now I'm gonna go warm up this heavy cream. Okay, so we've warmed up our heavy cream for about one minute. I'm going to pour it over the chips. And I'm going to let that set for about five minutes just to start melting those chips down. And I usually just take a little saran wrap and just cover it, just put a little seal over the top just to seal in that heat while we give it some time to start melting on its own. Okay, so let's see how our chocolate ganache is coming along. Okay, I'm just going to stir it up until we get the nice smooth melted consistency we're looking for. There, now it's all coming together. This is what you're looking for, nice, smooth, shiny consistency. This would actually be fabulous for a drip right now, but we're going to let it set for about 30 minutes because we're going to use it for filling for our cake. Now it's really important to cover this while you let it set. You want to cover it and bring your saran wrap down into the bowl because we want to cover it at the top of the ganache so that we don't get a hard film on the top of it. Okay, and then we'll put that aside till it sets up. So now that our chocolate ganache is done, we're ready to layer and fill our cake. All right, so we're gonna take this first piece, uh, bunt piece, and actually, you know what? I'm gonna just stick a little ganache on the cake board just to secure it so it won't slide around while we're trying to crumb coat it and fill it. Okay. This first layer and just sit it on there. Just get it as nice and level and even as we can. The center of our cake board. Now you're just gonna fill it with a layer of ganache. Yeah. And you don't need a thick layer, just a just a nice coat. This adds a just delicious, delicious combination with our triple chocolate cake. All right, now we need one of our middle layers because that's going to be our top. So let's take one of our middle layers and block our parchment paper and just sit this on as center as possible. Okay, so we'll continue with our filling until we get all of our layers put together. Okay, and our third layer. Crumb coat our cake.
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and trim the bottom. Trim off this excess chocolate here so our pumpkin can have a nice shape. All right, let's get some ganache around the bottom and then we'll be ready to let this chill for a little bit. All right. Now we'll put this thing in the fridge for a little bit, let it chill while we make our fondant pieces. Okay, so while our cake is chilling, we're gonna go ahead and make some of the decorations and get them ready. So I just have some orange fondant that I made along with some brown and some black and I just cut out uh, just a print of Jack Skellington's face as a guide. So we're going to start with the stem of the pumpkin. Yes. So I'm going to pull off a couple pieces and we're just going to make our stem. I'm just using some brown fondant here for the stem and just going to shape it into a nice uh, stem shape. So we're going to flatten out the bottom and bring it up. bring out some tools here to just going to give it some lines um, give it some lines for the dim texture make sure we get some on all sides so I'm gonna make a couple roll out a couple little vines just to go on the sides of our stem I just think it gives it a cute effect You want to roll this out fairly thin and we're actually going to get two out of this piece. Now what I like to do is take a toothpick and just stick in the end there carefully so that I'll be able to push that into my cakes later. Okay. And then we'll just find something to roll it around. Just so it can get that uh, kind of viney shape to it. Okay, so now we'll do our eyes, nose, and get our mouth started with the black fondant. And I'm just gonna put down a little cornstarch, keep it from sticking on us. And we're gonna take our eye cut out and just trace it on the fondant. Okay, and then you just want to smooth your edges real good. Okay, we want to cut out two little nostrils, and I'm just going to freehand this one. Thank you. 
going to actually trim this a little bit thinner. Okay, that's pretty good as far as size we need. I'm just going to take um, several tiny pieces and roll them between my fingers to make the lines in Jack's mouth. So we need about 15 of these. Okay, and this will end up being our face on our pumpkin. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and roll out our orange fondant for our pumpkin. Just a little cornstarch. And I'm gonna just knead it a little bit to soften it up for a minute. So our cake is eight inches across and five inches tall. So we need to make sure we at least roll um, 18 inches in diameter to be able to cover the entire pumpkin. Okay, all right, so let's get this ready. I like to fold mine over my fondant roller. And then we're gonna bring our cake back. And kind of place it as evenly as possible. Roll it over. All right, let's see how we did here. Okay. So we're just gonna press it down in the top a little bit, and then we're gonna smooth down our sides. All the way around till we've got our pumpkin completely covered. Okay, now once we get close to getting it smoothed out, we want to cut off this excess fondant. That's going to make it a little easier to finish smoothing. And don't be concerned if it doesn't look perfect. You know, it's a pumpkin, so it's not intended to be smooth and perfect. All right, so we're going to go ahead and kind of just um, make our grooves a little more definitive. And we just put uh, a little more definition in there. Give it some lines so it'll have some nice pumpkin texture. Okay, I think we've got some nice texture. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and start adding our finishing touches here. So kind of, just kind of got out my place that I want to put his face at. All right, so I've got a little bit of water here. Okay, so here is, let's see, just placement of our eyes. Um, let's see, bring that one down just a hair. Okay, 
Okay, sometimes it's hard to get it in the perfect spot, so if you need to adjust, um, because this is black, it will leave a mark uh, from the black color, but a little bit of water and brush will take that right off. Okay. okay. So I'm brushing, uh, just brushing a line of uh, water on to apply the mouth so the mouth can adhere to the cake once I, to the fondant once I stick it on. Yeah, anywhere you see, if you use cornstarch when you're rolling your fondant, if you see it, you just, you can just brush, it'll just brush right off. Because the little details in his mouth are so tiny and just tedious to put on, I'm going to use some piping gel. Uh, rather than water, this is just going to help them adhere better. Okay, so we've got our face done. Now we're going to go ahead and put our, bring in our, our stem and just put that right in there. Let me put, I'm going to just dab a little bit of water underneath it, just, just to secure it. Put that right in there. Okay, all right. And our little curlies that we made earlier. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of stick those around. Um, I just pick little random spots and and put them in. They just add nice, uh, some nice depth to the stem there. Now I'm just gonna take a little cocoa powder and dust our pumpkin just to add a little color and depth in the orange. Just really like the look that the cocoa powder gives it. So here we are. Here's our finished Jack Skellington pumpkin cake. Uh, I think it looks, came out pretty good. Uh, it's like we plucked it straight from the pumpkin patch. <laughs> um, anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, hopefully you decide to experiment and make one yourself. And make sure you join me for future videos. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And have a wonderful Halloween.